Sheldine. I'm the assistant principal here at Lima Old Lyme High School. And on behalf of the entire Lima Old Lyme High School community, I would like to welcome you to our Wildcat family. Hi, uh, my advice to incoming freshmen is to get involved because the more things you're involved in, like the more likely you are to make friends and stuff, and I think that's the best way to engage yourself in the high school, I guess. Alright, freshman year is good. Uh, seniors were nice this year, which I wasn't expecting, so that was good. Um, class works pretty easy, not too much homework, and uh, good classes, good teachers, school's a good place. Hi, I'm Tom Chris, I'm a senior. Um, right now I'm working on something for uh, our robotics team, we're the uh, Technotix. Um, every year we build a robot and go compete in the uh, national competition. So at Lima Lime High School we have a really good drama department. This year we, for the play we did Letters to Sala and for the musical we did Carousel and it's just a lot of fun and you make a lot of good friends and you get to have fun and on the nights of production uh, parents bring dinner so you get to socialize and then you go upstairs and put on your makeup and costumes and it's just a really fun time. Hi, I'm Holly, and I'm an officer in the Student Leaders Club. Um, in Student Leaders, we plan a bunch of really fun activities for the school. We plan things like Spirit Week, the Pep Rally, the Lip Sync, and a bunch of other really fun events for the students, and it's a great club to get involved in. Hi, I'm Noelle. I'm a PEEP for Period 1 Freshman Sophomore Gym Class. And I think being a peep is definitely something really fun to get involved in as an upperclassman. Your gym classes are so fun. You do things like going to the weight room and floor hockey. The biggest freshman sophomore thing to do is the pickleball tournament where you all wear green and you get dressed up and play pickleball against each other. It is definitely something that's really fun and you should be looking forward to. Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Shrine, one of the uh, teachers in the phys ed department. Notice I said physical education. We don't call it gym around here because Mr. Rader and I teach in the gym. But we educate people about their physical abilities. But we're looking forward to having you here at Lime Lime High School. And you're probably wondering why does she have a pickle on her head. Well, right now we are involved in our pickleball tournament. And no, we do not hit pickleballs, or I should say pickles around, all right? We do slice and dice and make some relish out there, but it is the big tournament for the freshmen and sophomores. So we're looking forward to you guys come on in, coming up here and joining us for some picklicious time. Hi, I'm Tessa. I'm Jordan. Lauren. Anna. And it's the pickleball tournament. Woo! Uh, we're wearing okay. green for the pickleball tournament, and it's with all freshmen and sophomores, and it's like a big tournament at the end of all the winners for each class. And, and the uh, winner basically gets a big jar of pickles. Huge jar of pickles. Yeah. So pickleball is pretty much like indoor tennis, and oh, you I use a pickleball ball. racket oh. and a wiffle ball, and it's played with low nets. And yeah, we have tournaments like for two or three classes, and then whoever gets on the first or the second court wins and gets to go to the real tournament. And the real tournament's great because you get to miss two class periods, and it's at oh, the end of the day. Woohoo! Pickleball. Yeah. Hi, my name is Mr. Zubek. I teach math at Lima Lima High School, uh, mostly geometry and statistics. I also coach basketball and crew, and I'm the advisor of the student leaders club as well as the head advisor of the class of 2018. Um, what I like most about LLHS is how involved all the students are. Um, you know, every one of my students are in multiple sports, clubs, um, and with that they're just so respectful and mature and it's just fun to work with them because of how much they do in and out of the classroom. Basketball's great. Yeah. It's a good time. I mean, if you like basketball, there's nothing better than high school basketball. It's, I mean, it's a good time. Do it. Cross country is really fun. The team is probably the best part, and you get a lot of team bonding. It's a lot of running. A lot of running. A lot of hills. Um, 
Sprints. More sprints than you'd expect. And then distance too, like nine miles at most, which is a lot. Yep. Only for varsity though. But it's JV's really fun. fun. JV's super fun. JV as a senior. <laughs> Ross has boys cross country. It's a good time. Uh. Hey, we're in the soccer team and basically it's like a family, like <laughs> we become a family and it's, it's a, a time. It's a long season but it's really, really fun. The past few years we won shorelines, so we're pretty good. Hopefully you guys will be too. Um, and we're really supportive of each other. It's a really fun season. We have a lot of pasta dinners, yep. a lot of long practices. It's fun, good bonding. And we all make signs to like get people to come to our games and it's really fun and we have God, okay, never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, it's a really t uh, together team. We and all our town gets really into it. Like on our last shoreline game, we had like, like yeah. how many fans did we have? A lot, a lot. A lot. It's, re it's a really exciting season. Yeah. All right. So most most coaches say it's not about winning. It's just about fun. But like we all know, it's not really true. In golf, it really is just about fun. We don't really try to win. It's just about enjoying a nice sunny day on the golf course. Yeah, uh, it's just it's a really good time. Just get out there on the course with your friends and just you know mess around for a while. Preseason, it's, there really isn't one, so you know <laughs> it's it's a good time. There's no condition, no condition, none at all. Hi, so volleyball is really fun. It's you really want to go to practice after school every day because like all the girls are really fun on the team and like welcoming to like all the new freshmen. Um, we like stay in shape, you know, it's a lot of fun, but nothing too exhausting, nothing like soccer sprints or anything. <laughs> um, we have really yummy snacks every day after our games, so that's really good. Hello, my name is Adam and uh, I'm a senior here and I just wanted to inform you that there's a very positive community at this school. Uh, Everyone here is very kind and helping for each other, and the teachers as well. They can really boost your confidence, uh, very knowledgeable, know what they're teaching. And I'm the Library Media Center Specialist at the high school. Um, here at the library, we have textbooks for students to check out and a multitude of both nonfiction and fiction titles. Um, we also offer an atmosphere for students to do their schoolwork. Um, we have technology available. We have desktops and laptops. Um, and in addition to that, I have a school library media center website. Um, that you can get to through Region 8, the Region 18 website. Hi, I'm Mrs. Straub and I run the Learning Center, which is um, a classroom environment where you can come for extra help or you can come and study quietly. We have computers and textbooks. It's a place of mutual respect, community learning. Um, it's a lot of fun to be there and we hope that you'll think about joining the Learning Center as your study hall time. Hi, I'm Mrs. Burke. I am an English teacher here at Live All Time High School, and um, I teach mostly upperclassmen, although some uh, sophomores in the Creative Writing Elective, which is a wonderful class, so much fun. Um, my favorite part of Lionel Life High School is definitely how involved the students are outside of the classroom. Um, most of our students are involved in everything from sports to clubs to um, music and dramatic productions and watching them, seeing them sort of um, doing the things that they're really passionate about, whether it's you know, sort of saving the world with the environmental club or performing on stage or um, getting ready for their sports after school is just my favorite thing about school. Hi, my name is Mrs. Mattis and I teach math here at Lime Old Lime High School. Currently I teach Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 and Pre-Calc, though I can teach anywhere up through Pre-Calc including Geometry and different levels of any class. Um, 
I'm looking forward to seeing some of you next year. Hi, um, my name is Miss Kelly. I teach um, social studies here at Lyme on Lyme High School. Um, I teach modern world history, which is a freshman year class, as well as um, civics and early U.S. history. And next year I'll be also teaching a class called Roots of Democracy. Um, if you're interested in coming out for the yearbook, I am um, the co-advisor to the yearbook and we always need freshmen to come and step um, up to the plate and participate. Um, I'm also the advisor to the National Honor Society, so keep your grades up, be a good leader, and maybe I'll see you as a senior. How's everybody doing? So I hear you're coming up to the high school next year. Um, welcome freshmen. My name is Mr. Eckhart and I work here in the history department sometimes and uh, teach well a lot of different things. Right now I'm teaching economics, uh, AP psychology and modern world history which is what I got going on in there right now and I'm out here doing this so who knows what's going on in there. Anyways, um, I also do the plays in the fall so if you want to come out for the play um, feel free we'll be making those announcements and um, I don't know, as the day goes here in LOLHS, um, you're going to be coming through the history department and there's five of us that teach here and hopefully I would love to see you in one of my classes. Um, I, that's all I've got for you right now. I'm just looking forward to you guys getting up here uh, and taking history. We'll see you then. I hope that your transition to ninth grade is a smooth one and I'm one of the faces that you'll become familiar with as a person who's going to be able to hopefully help that transition go smoothly for you. All of the adults in the building are here to make sure that our students feel supported, connected, and have all of the supports that they need. And um, I hope that you learn a lot in the days to come as you transition to high school. Thank you.